Well, it definitely held two gallons, but now the problem is, how the heck do you get it out? You can see the concern here is, there's a lip highlighting the old water damage right there. It's not as if you can just bend this over or move the mat out at a very easy angle, which is where I think the flexibility of this particular mat is going to help us, but we'll see. How many towels is it gonna take? I'm not bringing in our shop back because I don't think that's necessarily something that everybody has. Oh, that's gonna make it blow. Oh, a little over the edge there. So how much can I soak up without the towel pushing it over the edge? <laughs> this is what they don't show you. This is gonna take a while. Alternative number two, let's try this. Might be quite a bit cleaner than, oh yeah, that's the way to go. Forget the towels. What a mess. Boom. <laughs> now we're cooking. We're gonna put this on hyperlapse here. I want you to be able to see how the line is dropping down. This is gonna take a little while. The next thing I wanna try is now that the level of the water is a little lower, can I start finagling it out? and really getting this process going by tilting the side. Do I see anything? Everything is kind of okay. There's a little bubble right here, but can I get over this lip? And it actually doesn't look like I can. I don't know if, no, the lip is too much. So that's kind of disappointing. There's not really another system out there that I can think of. The other mats that I had considered were not as flexible as this one. You can see clearly this holds up the edge far enough so that you're not going to have anything come over, any kind of weakness where the water just expands out. This is tough enough. But if you have a lip on the front of your cabinet, you can't overcome that. The water won't pour out. You have to use, what do you call this? a siphon in order to get it all out or towels but that's just super messy as we saw well that is almost two gallons the bucket was not clean when i started and now we're just down to wiping it out might as well have one side dry before Seeing what it's like underneath. Yep, there's quite a bit of water just wicked from that first little spill. Now, a lot of this was already here. Let that dry out and clean this off. I'm gonna put a heater fan in here. I'm gonna go grab that real quick. I'm gonna turn it on to the first setting. The heat and the movement of air will help dry out this cavity well that was a train wreck definitely wasn't exactly what uh what i was expecting but it's always good to use the tools that you have on hand if you have a shot back that would obviously be the way to go but i didn't want to go into that expecting that everyone would have this so perhaps you have one of these siphons what is it called i don't know what does it say on there no nope. in any case Go ahead and use what you have on hand, but be prepared. If you only have towels, it's going to take quite a bit longer. I was expecting to put out a how to choose the best mat video next based on what we learned here. But after testing this mat and seeing how well water cleanup went, I realized that what I thought was important is not necessarily that important and I should try out a few other mats on the market before making that video. So stay tuned. I will put it here when it comes out and next week's video will be testing out the extreme mat. Thanks for watching.